Build to Survive Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Can you build the greatest base of all time and protect yourself from Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 characters? All right, guys, here we go. We have to build and survive, um, apparently Catnap and the prototype. We're already getting attacked. <laughs> it's chasing that guy instead. All right, what should we build here? I kind of want to build the Smiling Critter's house, like the brown house from the Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 trailer where all the Smiling Critters are inside. So we got to start with something brown because it's like a wooden house. So we'll grab our brown block right here, and we'll just start building. We'll go with the flow and see where this takes us. Here we go, we got the- Oh no, dude, it's chasing me again. Why are there so many prototypes? Look at that! <laughs> this guy is getting chased by so many of them. He's gonna distract for us while we finish the rest of this house. Wait, what is this? PJ Pug -a pillar? It's a game pass. I forgot about PJ. We got the PJ Pug Mount. Should I buy this? 80 Robux? All right, we got it. Look at that. It's a car? Dude, this thing is crazy. The prototype's not going to be able to get me if I'm on the PJ Mount. This thing goes 90 miles an hour. Let's go ahead and build our door. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's grab a door out of here before I get oofed because the prototype is right here. Yeah, we're gonna put two of them right there. Tussie Games. The owner of the Smiling Critter's house. And I'm also gonna add some windows because I need to see if the, the prototype is outside of my front yard. I need to make sure I'm protected at all times. What the heck is that? We got skeletons in this game? I don't remember that from Poppy Playtime. Oh no, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. I'm so weak, please. Leave me alone. I got the PJ Pug a pillar car, dude. You can't catch me. I'm too fast. Look at them. They're so confused. They're like, where did he go? Never mind. They found me. <laughs> that didn't last long. We got 22 seconds and we have to survive. I need to finish building this though. I got to finish building my windows, Mr. Skeleton. Get away from me. Why are they wearing hard hats? It, it doesn't matter. They oofed me. They literally popped my poppy playtime head right off of my body. Let me see if I can build some walls here before the next monsters come back. We have to move quick. I'm taking so long trying to finish this Poppy Playtime house. Who is attacking now? Victim attack. It's dog day. What? So the, do they have like all the different smiling critters in here? <laughs> dog day so big. It's dog infected. No, dog day, please. I'm innocent. I feel like if I jump on the, the PJ car, it's going to be too OP and I could just easily get away from him. But because I died, I don't have it anymore. Give me this. Give me the PJ car. Dog Day is way too powerful. What else do they have in this game? Let's see. We, we got morphs. Really? We got catnap plushy morph. Okay. I became catnap plushy and I'm walking backwards. Why am I walking backwards? Am I teasing Dog Day? I'm like, haha, silly dog, you can't get me. <laughs> what is this over here? Hey, we got Huggy Wuggy. We got the Huggy Wuggy building. I like that. That's pretty cool, but I don't think that uh, Dog Day likes it. Let's finish some windows here. Uh-oh, the skeletons are back. Oh, it's the skeleton from the prototype. Right, that's where I recognize it from, but it was just a giant skeleton. So that was like the oofed player, or the, the oofed workers at poppy playtime and pj is just eating up the skeleton so yeah i think that that's the prototype that's trying to get inside here i need to paint the walls a different color but i have to destroy some of the base oh no guys help please somebody get out the the bunny pistol and help me defeat these monsters this is so hard there's so many mo there's so many monsters attacking us right now i can't attack them and try to defeat them all by myself I need help. You guys are supposed to be my bodyguard. I think we need a stronger weapon. There's too many monsters. I have $470. What should I buy? The Huggy Wuggy Axe? I need this. I need this right now. It's 30% off. I'm buying it on sale. Give me the Huggy Axe. I need to try this thing out. Oh, yeah. We got the Huggy Wuggy Axe. Get catnap. Get catnap. Oh, it's so strong. 
Dude, this thing is crazy. Now we can build in peace because all I have to do is pull out the Huggy Axe. And we can oof the monsters with one swing. We can finally build our roof so that the critters can no longer jump inside of our base. There's no way that the critters can come inside. We'll have full protection once the roof is complete. Hey, Dog Day, have you ever seen a Huggy Wuggy Axe? You're about to. Yeah! Ah! Oh, Dog Day's so strong! He takes three hits with the axe. Why is he so strong? Look, he actually got through the window. Bro! Oh, he probably got through right there. He's trying to destroy our base. We need to fix it. I wonder if the critters can destroy our base a little bit. All right, there we go. The new and improved Smiling Critters house. It's not complete, but we're doing pretty good. Let's put our door back up now that we have the steps. I think that the Smiling Critters house has like a triangle roof. So let's see if we can build that. We need green and purple, the Tussie game colors. Yes, dog day, stop. Bro, he was almost about to oof me. Okay, guys, there we go. We have the front of the roof. Let's finish up the back, and then we need to make an upstairs. I think I want to make the upstairs like a sky tree house. What is this stuff? Oh, dude, we got turrets. A catnap turret. Can I buy this? Oh, we got to pay Robux. We're going to buy all the turrets, you guys. We need them on every corner of our base. I don't know if they're actually going to work. Like, are they, are they going to shoot the monsters? Hold on a second. Oh, I'm getting hit. Come on, turret. Do something. Bruh, the turret. Oh, whoa, it works. Dude, you can farm money like that. We just got a hexakill. That's crazy. Okay, give me more turrets. We're going to buy all of them. How did I even do that before? Was it in here? Yes. So I think, oh, nice. You can have up to two of them. So the catnap turrets are going to be in the front. They're going to protect us at the front of the house. And then I think we, I don't know. Should we put some turrets up top? Or should we just put them all on the side? Let's buy the Hoppy Hopscotch Tunny Bunny. The bunny turret. We could probably have two of each. We're also going to get the Crafty Corn one. Crafty Corn turret. There we go. And what is this? Is this a PJ Pugapillar turret? The prototype turret. Oh, dude, this is crazy. All right, we're going to buy that. We'll buy some traps. May as well spend a little bit more money. Where should we put Hoppy? Yeah, right there. Come on, get the skeletons. Yes! Dude, the turrets are so cool. I'm so glad that I found that. We found the turrets. And we built the turrets, and they will protect us. Now let's get out Crafty Corn. Crafty Corn, uh, she's gonna be on this side. Crafty Corn, I need you to be crafty with your lasers. And oof every monster in sight. They are so evil. And then the prototype turrets are gonna be in the... Should we put them on the back? Yeah, we're gonna put them on the back. Look at that. The prototype turret. That is so cool. It's got PJ Pugapillar's face on it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I don't think that we can build anything else, right? For traps. I guess we can put like bear traps down. We'll put them in the windows. Guys, what do you think about that? Is that a good idea to put them in the windows? Because the critters can kind of like sneak through. They can kind of like hop over into the windows, especially dog day. He's the worst. But I don't think that we can put them at every window. They only let you put down five? Why can we only put five down? I think the last thing that we need to buy to protect ourselves is the Pug Launcher. The PJ Pugapillar Bazooka, dude. What is this thing gonna be like? Uh, I can't even tell because my turrets are oofing all the monsters. Look at this, we got the PJ Pugapillar Launcher. Yeah, it launches PJ Blocks. And they explode. Oh, dude, this thing is so OP. Guys, we can actually finish our base now. Finally, in peace. We got the turrets. We got the PJ Pugapillar launcher. Let's build... I kind of want to build some grass. We need to make the place look really nice on the outside. Welcome to the Smiling Critters cabin, where all your dreams will come true. And if you guys don't hit the like button, then Catnap is going to be knocking on your door tonight. And it's not going to be very fun. It's going to be super scary. Just like Catnap. He's going to turn into Nightmare Catnap when he's knocking on your door. You're going to see him on your ring camera. Your ring doorbell is going to be nothing but Catnap. I think it's time that we build this sky base. We need to make sure that we can get away. If our turrets fail, 
and the monsters break our base down, we need to be able to escape outside somewhere. So maybe we can have, like, a little escape route, like, right there. And then we're gonna build it up. So let's try to find some kind of, like, jump pad. Here we go, jump pad for $1,000. We need to be able to, like, jump all the way up. There we go. Okay, this will definitely work, dude. This will definitely work. Let's go ahead and get rid of this nonsense over here because it's kind of ugly. And all we need to do is just add some jump pads. That way we can access the roof for all the emergencies. Yes, just like that. That is so good. The jump pads are super cool. All right, so let's grab our purple again. Let's see how high we can go. We'll build like one, two, three, four. Wait, why are we going so high up? Look at this. Yo, wait, what? <laughs> What the heck just happened? This sky base is for emergencies only. So only if we actually have to go up here and protect ourselves from those evil prototype skeletons. Look at them. They're all getting oofed by the turrets, dude. I'm not worried about an emergency. I think we'll be okay, but hey, just in case. Just in case, you always got to have a sky base. That way we can shoot our pug -a pillar launcher down at them. Let's build a little balcony out here. They really don't have that many decorations in this game. I wish that they had more. Can't really build any more turrets. What else can we buy, like from the shop? We can only buy weapons. I need decorations, dude. What about morphs? Oh, nice. We get, Guys, we can afford every morph in the game. Okay, so we already have catnap. We have Bobby Bear Hug. Let's buy Crafty Corn. Kickin' Chicken is $700. Picky Piggy is a thousand and Happy Hopscotch is twelve hundred dollars. Yes, the twelve hundred dollar backwards walking Happy Hopscotch has been unlocked. So I think we beat the game, didn't we? We got our like emergency sky base up here. We have oh wait, the jump pad needs move. This jump pad is in the wrong place. Yeah, we gotta put it like right here. We'll just put like one in every corner. We'll just leave the two out here like this. Yeah, look at Hoppy. <laughs> He's literally hopping on the jump pad. We're getting a bunch of a bunch of kills with our, our turret lasers. But I want to test out the PJ Pug Pillar Blaster, the cannon. The PJ Pug Launcher. Give me this thing, dude, and get me out of this morph. We need a finale explosion of all of the monsters. Let's check our base out, too. The Smiling Critter Cabin has been completed. Our turrets, which is probably the best part of the whole game, because it just completely protects you from all of the evil monsters. I forgot about the PJ car that we have. Yeah, the PJ Mobile. And the PJ Pug Launcher, which I still need to use. Why are the PJ Pug -a Pillar Game Passes the most OP? Probably because PJ Pug -a Pillar is the coolest. Where are the monsters, dude? Oh, we got 15 seconds, guys. It's it's currently the build stage, so we gotta wait. Here we go, three seconds. Three, two, one. Give me the best monsters ever. They're already getting oofed by our lasers, but what about this? What about this guy, the prototype skeleton? Let's hit him with the pug launcher. Come on, dude, you need to explode. We gotta time it out right. Look out, oh! <laughs> he like flies away. Look at him, look at him, pathetic. Come on. Yeah, the PJ Pug Launcher, it's really cool, but guys, the turrets? The turrets are definitely the best thing to buy in the game. If you want your best bang for your buck and the really cool PJ car. That's gonna be it for this video though, guys. If you wanna see more Poppy Playtime, hit that like button for PJ Pug Pillar, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!